Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester, and I'm glad you're with us this morning. We have some couple of special guests here in the studio. But first, as always, let's take a look at our weather. Brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning, Drew Pollard and hardworking crew taking care of our everyday comfort needs and hasn't it been comfortable this past week or so? I mean, the high day's gonna be mid 80s, like 85, low's gonna be down to 64. So it's just some great fall weather that we are enjoying. So take advantage of it and get outdoors. Water temperature dropping another degree now, 76 degrees. And on tomorrow's fishing report, we're gonna be talking about Pompano cause it's been a good run this past week in, in Pompano fishing. Our river readings brought to us by the good folks down at Panama City Coca-Cola. Take a look at the Apalachicola Brunstown, 4.3 is low, but what about the Choctaw at Caribbean at 2.2? It's just level out there for a good while now because we haven't had any rain in the Choctaw River system. Tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. Today's October 24th. Good tides, we have a high tide this morning at 229, and low tide is gonna be this afternoon at 253. And our wind direction, uh, it will be coming out of north, northwest at five to 10, or at sometimes they say variable, but we're gonna guess five to 10. We're gonna take a break and come back with our special guest. Okay, welcome back, folks, and welcome to our guests this morning in Mosley Outdoor Education Students of the Month for the month of October. And I want to welcome Janie Hughes and Sam Rowe to the show. Welcome. Well, All right, as always, we're going to you know, like to give a little bit of background, and uh, I've got a kick this morning because I know a couple of generations of both families, so this is really cool. So, Janie, tell us about yourself and your family and all. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm Janie Hughes. I'm a senior at Mosley, and my grandfather is Robert Shoemaker, who started Shoemaker Construction. Okay, so we know, we know Mr. Shoemaker. We've known mm -hmm. him a long time. Loves to hunt. Mm -hmm. He's a good hunter. Okay. You tell us, Sam. I'm Sam Rowe. I'm a senior at Mosley, and my mom hey. does That's Too Cute with her sister Lori, and my dad runs SC Rowe with his brother Patrick. Mm -hmm. And that's been a generational, generational company there. Sam and you know right. my grandpa, Sammy from softball. That's right. And, and you're a great man. He started the he business. He started the business, yes, sir. Right down on Beach Drive. So uh, these families have been around a long time, and they have the love for the Florida Panhandle and the mm -hmm. love for the uh, doing outdoor things. So how's the outdoor class coming so far? It's good. We've just learned how to throw a cast net. Okay. And then the next week, I think we're learning how to... About start fly fishing. Yes. Start fly fishing. Don't get it much better than that, does it? <laughs> no, that's, that's fun. And you have a third period, or mm -hmm. and you have a second, second period? Second, yes, sir. Okay. So uh, your your plans, uh, tell us what, you, you sort of work intern for the mm -hmm. interior designer, or tell us about yes. that. So I intern with Michael Higdon. He's an architect. And I plan to go to Florida State and major in interior design, and I hope to remodel houses one day. Remodel houses. Mm -hmm. A bunch of, bunch of them need remodeling. <laughs> uh, and Michael Higdon now, tell us about what he did. So Michael was the head architect in designing the new outdoor building. A special guy. Did a great job with the design out there. Isn't that cool that she works with him and then she's in, in the building that he designed? That's, that's mm -hmm. cool. That's cool. And what about, are you doing anything now? Or just, yes, sir, uh, I'm doing an internship at my dad's office at s and I guess I'll go to Gulf Coast for two years after this and yeah. figure it out from there. And, and you, uh, that's a good way to do it. Y'all are at a good age right now to mm -hmm. try to figure things out. Uh, what What are some of the things that uh, you may want to do later on? You want to go into family business or you want to just venture it's, out? I haven't really thought about it too much, yeah. but We'll see, I guess. This yeah. is the option, possibly, so. What about, what made you decide on interior design? What, what inspired you for that? Um, well, I love Florida State. My parents went there, my brother's in law school there, and part of it was I really wanted to go to FSU, and they have an amazing interior design oh, yeah. program. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted to remodel houses and do something more of the creative side mm -hmm. of construction, so mm -hmm. I thought that would be the perfect option. That's cool. 
Now, we have, they have some great pictures, and all we'll get into them. I do want to show this first picture you sent. I, uh, this sort of typifies a, a teenager in the summertime. Tell us about this picture. <laughs> so that's it, Crystal Lake. It was my friend Riley's birthday. I'm not in the picture, but we were going tubing. Oh, you fell off, huh? <laughs> I was on the boat. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I actually did not fall off that day. Okay. But, mm -hmm. Okay, so you uh, you like to do all kind of outdoor things, mm -hmm. especially like that. We have blessed with so much water around mm -hmm. here and all. So uh, I have then this picture. Tell us about this picture. So this is me and my grandfather, uh, Bob Shoemaker, <laughs> and the, the country club. And I grew up uh, playing golf there with him. Mm -hmm. And he, he and my father really taught me how to play. So I play with him and my dad and my brother all the time. Do you enjoy golf? Mm -hmm. It's a fun game, isn't it? It is. You know? Frustrating sometimes, but it's fun. <laughs> Very frustrating at times. You don't get upset or anything? Uh, <laughs> when, I'm, when it's for fun, yes. Uh, I don't get upset, but sometimes I can get a little competitive. <laughs> I can understand that. Okay, uh, and the, about this one. So this is me and my cousin Ansley. We're, this is, uh, I think, the day after 4th July, and we are going to watch the fireworks, I think. I don't remember where. Somewhere, downtown, um, Destin, uh, downtown. Yeah, around downtown, we were going, we were taking the boat out to watch the fireworks. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we've got, we got plenty of your pictures too and all, but before <laughs> we get to your pictures, uh, you enjoy hunting and fishing. Right? Yes, sir. And the, the pictures are evident. Watch uh, this fall, are you getting a chance to do any kind of outdoor stuff? Yes, sir. I'm on. What all are you doing now? Now we're just getting ready for the getting ready for the hunting season, planting some food plots. We planted a dove field a yeah. couple months ago. And well, Janie, uh, I was talking to her before the show. She hadn't had an opportunity to do a lot of this hunting and all, fishing. So, <laughs> so we, I want some of you guys and girls who, that, with experience to take her and then let her send us some pictures of her in a tree stand or something. Yes, sir. Or shooting a dove or something. Oh, <laughs> OK, we're going to take a quick break. Be right back with our guest. Okay, welcome back. So anyway, students of the month, uh, we we're so proud, proud to have them and represent the outdoor education class and they're picked by the coach uh, Stanford up there. So y'all must be doing some good stuff in class. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, sir. So y'all got a pretty good grade so far? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. There's been no progress reports or anything like that. Okay, well, uh, we'll continue with some pictures and all. This next picture, this is a cool one here. This is something I know you really enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. what, that's on a mostly tennis yes. court. But tell us what's going on. Uh, so me and my friends love to play pickleball. And I think this was taken before the tennis courts were built at Lynn Haven, but we had markers and we would measure out where the pickleball <laughs> line should be. Yeah. And it was just a really pretty sunset. So me and my friend Taylor took a picture. Well, that's a great time to take a picture mm -hmm. there for the sunset. And what a great activity too. Pickleball mm -hmm. is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this is an outdoor picture. Tell us yes. what's going so on here. So my family used to own a lake house up in Lake Raven, Georgia. And this was me again, my friend Taylor, last summer, and we were went we went hiking. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it a trail? Y'all went through a trail? Yes, there? that was just a broken tree, and we went to take a picture on it. Y'all didn't fall off, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> was it? How far was the trail? How far did y'all? Um, I think it was maybe like two or three miles, and yeah. at the end of the trail there was a really pretty waterfall. I think That's, it was called Angel Falls. Trails. Yeah. That was cool, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, yeah, so. cool. Okay. And one more. And then me and Taylor again at the beach. So my family owns a beach house, um, like right, right on the, right on the, uh, right on the beach. And yeah. we love to, we go all the time, and it's super fun. And that's so relaxing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, Sam. Who's your buddy here? <laughs> that's my new puppy. Her name's May. Aww. She <laughs> is seven months old. Yeah. English cocker spaniel. Yeah. And we have two more that are just like her, same, same English Cock Spaniel. Mm -hmm. They're not the same okay. letter. One of them we got from the same place, mm -hmm. and then the other one, she's seven. And then the middle one's four. So y'all really like that species of dog? Yes, sir. Well, what makes that dog special, that, that species? What are... I don't, our whole family has them. My grandparents have them, yeah. and Patrick and Jennifer, my uncle and aunt have them. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of a family run, I guess. Well, they're, they're smart dogs. They are smart. Yeah. She's about to go off to train on November 1st. No kidding. Where, where are you sending her to train? Douglas, Georgia. Yes. Yes, sir. How long will she be up there? 
three months. Three months. Uh, you gonna write her a letter or something while she's up there? I guess so. <laughs> this is this is cool. So do you, uh, that dog will be a working dog then and a, yes, and a pet? Yes, sir. So that, that's that's the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. Do y'all do uh, dove shoots and quail shoots? And, yes, sir. And these other dogs, do they they pick up the birds and? Um. Or the well, are they well trained? The four, the one that's four. He went off to get trained, and I guess we never really use him enough, but he well, tries, he tries. What did it pass the class? Well, I mean, yeah, he's okay. Uh, All right, that's a cool picture. Okay, check this out. Wood ducks. That's me and my Uncle Patrick. Yep. <laughs> and we had shot a bunch of ring necks that morning and a couple wood ducks, and it was, it was fun. Oh, great. Are this here locally? Yes, sir. Hey, hey. Uh, now see, you see what Jane was missing out on. What time y'all get up? That, what time y'all get up that morning? Four thirty. Four thirty. So you could have gone with them at four thirty a.m. Yeah. And but it'd be more fun when it's colder. Oh, mm hundred -hmm. percent. Mm -hmm. During December, January hunt, give her a call and tell her yes, all sir. The, you and your uncle gonna go at four thirty. <laughs> nice buck here. This is cool. That's I, a big one. Yes, sir. I killed that one in Eufaula at my buddy Boyd Faison's farm. It was it was something. He was a haul out of the woods, that's for sure. <laughs> wow, that is cool. What about a tarpon? And there's me and my buddy Boyd Faison again. We had went with Captain Justin Leake and went and caught a tarpon. It was late season, so that's the only one that we had caught, but it was fun. That was great. Uh, what, what's so cool about that? You say you went with Justin Leak, who was yes, an alumni of Outdoor Ed, mm -hmm. and he was that group of people that helped design the classroom. Oh, really? They're in a small world, isn't yeah. it? Exactly. And he made a career, you know, we're talking about careers in outdoors. Mm -hmm. And Justin and Matt Smith and a group of those boys have made a career doing outdoor yes, things sir. like that with his TV show and a guide. So that's cool. Uh, we, just talking about the last two pictures we just showed, the big buck right there and a the tarpon. I mean, that's pretty strong. You're 18 years old? 17. So you're 17. When did we turn 18? August 20th. August 20th, and you're? I'm 18. You're 18, mm -hmm. okay, good deal. Uh, a couple more pictures, but y'all doing really good here. Okay, what about this? That's me and my dad. That was the first pig I'd ever killed. <laughs> a while ago, if you can't tell. Yeah, that was a while ago. But... <laughs> okay. And that's another shoot, or was that the same one? That's another one. That was me. That's me on the left, and then Braxton McElhaney's right there next to me, and Jacob yeah. Oaks and Boyd Faison. And that was a roost hunt we had had one afternoon. Shot a limit of wood ducks. Well, explain to, explain what, when you said roost hunt, explain to Jane, so Jane will understand what a roost hunt is when she gets tested on it and out the way. So, tell her. so they'll get up and they'll get feed in the mornings, mm -hmm. and then they got to go back and I guess go to sleep, so they, have their different little places and you can right. catch them flying in in the morning and catch yeah. them flying in, in the afternoon and yeah. it makes good fun. Well, they're going home to their own bed. They are. coming in to roost. So if you, you they know, didn't make it out that night. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's cool is, I mean, they're flying pretty fast, aren't they? No, they're moving, they're, yes, sir. And you can hear them whistling and that's exciting. It gets your blood pumping. It's favorite, yeah. favorite sound in the world. Oh, uh, cool. All right, so you can go next time with them, aren't you? Early morning, early morning or late afternoon. So just, you know, for experience of just seeing what's going on. That's, that's a good shoot right there. Okay, so uh, you've done all these outdoor activities, the hunting and the fishing and all, and the boating and, and doing different things. What are some of your very favorite things that you enjoy doing outdoors, Janie? Probably, I mean, probably just going to the beach. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like it. sunrise at the beaches. There's nothing like it. It's just peaceful and it's calm. There's no one out there. Yeah. And then sunsets always gorgeous. And I mean, I just there's nothing like it. And then going on the boat, so much fun too. Yeah, the boating. And uh, mm -hmm. I always use the term. Sunsets are beautiful. Sunrises are spectacular. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, that's really I've always felt that way. If you had it, what are your favorites? I know you, all of it. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Duck hunting is really, I've come to liking that the past couple of years. It's been interesting watching how that developed because it, my, general, my buddies and I had that same passion and it sort of faded off not many people, and now it's come back with young people. Yes, sir. It's really been interesting for me to watch how much y'all enjoy it because I know, I know where you're coming from. Uh, do you, you, dog, you take your dogs in it to retrieve the ducks? Or? Um, that's why I got the puppy okay. for a good okay. part. And then 
my buddy has a dog. She's all right. We've taken her a couple times. <laughs> Braxton? Or? Yes, for Braxton. Though. Okay, I've, I've seen Braxton's dog. In fact, I showed you the picture when Braxton was on the show last month. He was student mm -hmm. month, and uh, and his mom sent me the picture of of the dog watching Braxton on TV. Did y'all see that picture? No. Oh. True story. His mom, his mom sent me the story, and the dog was in another room, and they were watching the show, and the dog recognized oh. a voice. Recognize Braxton Boys and can't just sit there and watch oh, his movies. Thank you. Yeah, it is. So maybe yours might do that. Well, see. We're gonna take a final break and come back with our students of the month. Okay, welcome back folks to our final segment here on Panhandle Outdoors. Before we get to our guests, let's take a look at our fishing game time today, brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe. We're looking at this morning, 557, 757. This evening, 6.22 to 8.22. Small world, we'll start talking about relationships and seeing people that know people and connected. And uh, mm -hmm. her granddad, Bob Shoemaker, his best friend is Jim Redford. Mm -hmm. Well, Jim Redford was the guy that hired me from University of Florida that I just took my hand out and said, hey, coach, my name is Winston Chester. And he brought me to Panama City. So who knew that we'd be seeing, sitting here talking to young people like this? So what, what a great, great situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. We've showed the pictures now, so let's talk about some of the things uh, that, what are some of your good memories, Jane, of, of school, you know, any, any level, some good memories you've had? Um, I would have to say, well, if we're going back to like middle school with yeah. uh, Coach Holman yeah. in gym class, that was always at the best my, time. At Moet. And yeah. then Coach Polly Epps, they, they made Moet amazing, I would have to say. That's it was cool. super fun, and we would do like capture the flag and just like kickball, all sorts of stuff. And it was always so much fun. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Kickball is fun. I say, and what's some some good memories you've had in school? I've always been a gym class type of guy. <laughs> if you can't tell. We, we identify. My few words that we identify with that. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. It's just gym mm -hmm. and being outside, yeah. playing. Mm -hmm. Well, what made y'all decide to take outdoor education, Danny? Um, well, my brother is a four, about four years older than me, and he took it, and he always raved about how amazing it was, and he was like, you have to take it your senior year, mm -hmm. so, and my boyfriend took it last year, and he was on the baseball team, so I know Coach Stanford okay. from him, Okay. so I just really wanted to have Coach Stanford as a teacher, and I just love the class, and cool. it's a nice break from doing schoolwork. <laughs> yeah, it's a good break. <laughs> yeah. I can remember seeing my students come in and almost take a deep breath when they come in the door. Ah, just relax mm -hmm. and come into a, a class they can relax and enjoy instead mm -hmm. of all, you know, press and pressure and all that. Yeah. What made you decide? I just had a lot of people tell me that it was very worth taking and then you'll get a lot out of it and have a good time. Good deal. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, you're seniors now. Okay, yes. can you, your mom and dad said, shake their head, can't believe you're seniors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this senior year, we were, we're just finishing the first nine weeks, right? So, mm -hmm. yes, y'all make passing grades? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that, that's good. So, what is the rest of the senior year? What are some of the goals? What are some of the things you're looking forward to the rest of your senior year? Mm -hmm. so, do y'all still do the grad trip, the grad bash? Yes, bash, the grad bash. Yes, I'm grad looking bash. forward to that. You're looking? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're going on that? Yes, sir. Okay, that'd be fun, too. Do y'all do, still do senior skip day? We actually have... Oh, November 1st. I don't know if we're supposed to say that, but <laughs> we have an unofficial one. Uh, <laughs> Next don't, I don't want to hear that. I'm on a school board. I can't remember. <laughs> it's the day after Halloween. You got a... <laughs> That's true. Pretty good timing. Uh, okay. And, and uh, oh, y'all going to do anything for Halloween? Um... I don't have any plans yet, yeah. but... <laughs> One of my favorite times as a teacher was Halloween. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had the same joke for, I don't know, how many years I was in teaching. Um, some of, I would pick out students like y'all. And uh, on Halloween morning, I would say, uh, Janie, you'd walk in the door. I'd say, Janie, Halloween's tonight. Take off your mask. And everybody <laughs> would laugh at you. And then the next morning, after Halloween, uh, the kids walk in the door. I'd pick out a couple of students. Sam, Halloween's over. It was last night. Take off that mask. So, <laughs> I'll tell Coach Stanford to use that joke. It went over every year. They just hooted on it. So all day long, they'd be telling each other to take off their mask and all. So just little things. Are y'all doing anything for Halloween? Um. Do y'all seniors do anything anymore? I mean, you, t you got little brothers or sisters or I mean, neighborhood? I don't or? have any little brothers or sisters, okay. no. But sometimes I'll help out my grandparents in the country club and hand out candy. Hand out candy. Mm -hmm. that's, that's fun. Okay, the well, future's coming up uh, quicker than we're thinking. Also, what mm -hmm. what are your goals for your for the future? I mean, what uh, mm -hmm. what about it? 
I want to go to Florida State University, and I think I already said this, major in right. interior design. I, will, I plan to get my bachelor and my master's in that, and maybe do some sort of like business with my minor, or my business AA, and then I eventually want to own my own, bills, uh, own business mm -hmm. where I remodel houses, and I take old houses people just want to tear down and oh, try to cool. fix them up and keep that, the historical feel of them, but make them modern and livable. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That'd be a lot of fun. And you, yeah. can, you can maybe walk somewhere in the outdoor ed classroom or the interior, work on mm -hmm. that. Tell coach that you want to practice on one wall. Give, we'll give you one wall. <laughs> okay, Sam. Well, mine's not nearly as interesting as that <laughs> was. But at this age, the girls have it all planned out. <laughs> yeah. I said, well, I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go to Gulf Coast for two years and get my AA and then go to Florida State possibly. Yeah. or. Okay, I what, guess I'll figure it out. Okay, what, what, you think the outdoors, your love for the outdoors and what you're doing right now, would that be part of your future with family and friends and all? I hope so. It mm -hmm. always will be. That's been a big part of my life. Yeah. And you'll always enjoy yeah. going to the lake and, yeah. and that. And I know wherever I live in the future, I want to live near a body of water. I know that. Near a body of water. Mm -hmm. And do you have any particular goals on where you want to live? Not exactly. Um, I know that like if me and my boyfriend get married and he's in baseball and he makes it big, then oh, yeah. it might be a little, I don't That'd really have well. much to say, but <laughs> that's okay. But I bet sooner or later I'll end up back this way. Yeah. What yes, about sir. you, Sam? I'll end up back here, but. <laughs> yeah, well this age I always sort of want to jump around and all that, but I get a <laughs> kick out of uh, that probably coming back this way because it's such a beautiful place. Mm. Well, about to start wrapping things up and Y'all didn't have to sing this morning, so <laughs> yeah, that's good. So, you want to give a shout out to anybody, or? Um, I guess shout out to Coach Stanford for <laughs> picking okay. us to do this. And that's shout out to Coach one. Stanford. And your grandparents, and, and, yes. their, and your parents. Yep. And, uh, mm -hmm. You wouldn't be here without them, you know that's that. That's true. Sure so, wouldn't. <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm going to get up there and talk to y'all's class pretty soon. Okay. And, uh, and also the cookouts. Well, we have the cookout yet? Oh, no, not yet. Okay, not. let me know. You know, got my number. And yes, sir. Hook, hook me up when you have the cookout because mm -hmm. I enjoy going to those and uh, doing it. Thank you all for coming on. Well, thank thank you, for you for having, having us. us. It was great seeing you all. Yes, you sir. <laughs> Folks, y'all uh, y'all do something good for someone else today. You have a great day. Enjoy the outdoors. Take care of it. And God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.